for episode 3 of the Pokemon Shield Let's Play. <gasps> it's the Amper! This is the best way to start off the episode with the Amper. I want this thing. I need this thing. You can see it's on my layout. Oh, this thing's faster than me. Dang, that thing is bulky. Nuzzle? Bro. Paralysis is broken. I, I need a yamper. It's, it's a doggo. And I like doggos. Doggos are good. I, I bet I can catch up with this next Pokeball after this bite. 21 Pokeballs. Doop. Doop. Yeet. Gotta catch them all. And a Japanese. I'm just thinking what people have tweeted real quick. Ooh, Sean and Obo. But I got my boy Yamper. Let me take a photo of this thing. This thing will never leave my party. Like, never. Did I save it? The Yamper. There's my boy Yamper, the goat. As it runs. I'm gonna name this thing Brendan because I'm not the only dog around anymore. He's now a dog after all the times he's called me a dog. I have to DM him right now because the Emperor's the goat. Now I gotta put the thing on top of my party so I can just destroy everything. Oh, I actually probably should go heal. So anyway guys, if you're still watching the stream, that's all good, but I'm probably gonna just do a grind fest right now, so if you're watching this on YouTube, there's probably gonna be cut around here. So yeah, I'm gonna go back and, you know, heal up my Pokemon real quick. And probably do some grind, some grinding. You know, get everybody to around like level 8 probably. I don't care about Squivet. You know what I care about? Yamper. Does this thing still have like that ball fetch move? Not move, uh, ability. Ball fetch. When the Pokemon is not hanging on, it will fetch the Pokemon from the first failed throw battle. Not bad. Brendan's going up first. And from what I've heard, Yamper has an evolution. Which is pretty sick. If I do have to say so myself. So I'm going to go train up against these flying type Pokemon real quick. There's that stupid bird thing. Rockadee. I'm gonna turn down my volume a little bit. He's got a nerve, I don't care. 
It's level 5. Nuzzle's not super strong, but I think it'll be good enough against these things. But that boy's paralyzed! Peck, go ahead, do that neutral damage. I didn't even check this thing's hiding. Is it like electric normal? Oh, it's just electric, so that's pretty nice. Go for that Leer. You're not gonna lower my defense. Oh wait, he did. Water. Kill that thing. Kill it. Ooh, Kyle and Blip Bug. I wonder if Blip Bug is gonna evolve soon or if it's like level 7. What the crap is that thing right there? What is that thing? Choodle? I want Choodle. That's already gonna replace the bird thing. Come on, party. Bite. Ooh. That's scary. He flinched. That thing did a crap time. It's gonna have like strong jaw or something. That did nothing. I wanna see what happens if I just throw a Pokeball now. Yeet. Choodle. I love this thing already. It's my new best friend. So hopefully I remember to edit that back into the episode. Oh boy. Choodle. I wonder if I can go ahead and like add him to my party from here. What should I name this thing? I don't know, this thing's not gonna get a nickname. I'm gonna add him to my party. Bye bye. Cow. I gotta get rid of the bird. Let me fight this girl. Let me put oof, turtle thing on the layout. I like how the one thing I don't have with like an orange background is my starter. And like now that I have the Pokedex, I could easily go and add him. But like I'm just kind of lazy. Ha, nuzzle. That does literally nothing. Go for bite. You ain't gonna kill. But I wanna go to my boy George. I also need to check out Choodle's stats in a minute. Branch poke, I'm gonna poke you with that branch. I like I'm not pulling like super weak or something. I feel like I'm not just I just feel like I'm not doing anything to these Pokemon. Uh, George is like getting a little overpowered. I think I'm gonna put Blend Bug up front because I want to actually use this thing. Well, let me look at this thing's stats. Water type, strong jaw, modest. That sucks. Go away, Yamper.
I want to see what I can do with this thing. So I'm faster. I did a pretty decent chunk there. Go for that tackle, you won't. Is this thing gonna kill me? Yeah, it just killed me, that was a waste. I'm dumb. I bet even with Judo paralyzed, it'll kill this thing. Tackle. Bro, Trudel, you're making me not like you right now. You're making me very mad. School that ye. Rip blip bug. It tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. You got so far and tried so hard. But in the end, doesn't even matter. My boy Bloodbug just wants to be good at life. But I'm so confused why there's like a Ronan thing up there. Like that's so weird, in my opinion. Is that the, pro the professor's house down there? So anyways, I think I'm just gonna cut back right now. So we just grinded up a little bit, kind of new Pokemon, hopefully I remember to add that. I think I will, but you know, I'm kind of lazy sometimes. Can I not come out of the tall grass? There's nothing in that patch of grass that I really want. Ooh, it's a trainer. You're going down. It's common manners for penguin trainers to battle when their eyes meet. By youngster Jake. Squawvit. That thing's trash. He's not. A blip bug is gonna do better than you. That did like a decent chunk. Even though I just lost to this thing a minute ago. So I can live like two hits from this thing, okay. So I'm doing like 20, around 25% each time. Yeah, so now I'm not gonna live this next hit. So I gotta switch out if I want this thing, you know, to, you know, actually level up. I'm gonna my boy Sean. Sean is my best friend. Sean will always be my best friend. Tackle. I bet this thing's gonna get roll out or something. But honestly, what's kind of scary is that I don't know what bonds evolve with, like, with stones. Because, you know, I've remained, like, relatively spoiler-free about mods in general. Blipbug and Sean leveled up. You defeated Youngster Jake. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. That's kind of the whole point. Is that something new right there? 
try and run into this. I'm gonna try and run away from this thing. Or is that a yamp there? What is this thing? Nick it? What is this thing? Is this like a fire type? If so, I gotta switch out of my boy Choodle. I can't stay in on that thing. Be so this is like a dark type. What if this is like a fire and dark? This thing reminds me of like Vulpix. He does know he'll only ever hit me one time because there's only one of him. I want this thing. I'll probably get rid of the squirrel. This thing's name is Nicket. Cut everything first try. So give me my boy Nicket. Experience. Looks like Oboe's leveling up. I think I'm going to... So this thing's a dark type. I don't really know his nickname in this thing, so I'm not going to give one. I want to see this thing summary. Dark type. Run away. That's, um, careful nature. Not... I'm going to guess that's not too good. I'm going to add this to my party. And replace of uh, Oboe. I don't care about this school thing. Let me try to find the... I'm trying not to have any Pokemon come battle me. I can get rid of the squirrel thing? Mad fox thing. I love how that's not... I love how that's not... I love how that's... I can't speak. I love how that... I love how... I'm naming everything. Is what I'm trying to say, but I think I'm a little mentally challenged. Don't want to battle any of those. Give me this Pokeball. Did that Yamper just run out of the grass to fight me? That's a crazy thing. What's up here? Three Pokeballs, not bad. I didn't want to battle this thing. You can kind of know I don't nick it. So I'm gonna see what this thing is that because it, it kept popping up. Oh, it's just another blip bug. I bet mine's better. I'm higher level, but you have more HP. But if we just keep lowering each other's special attacks. See, you did way less than I did. I'm gonna have to heal up soon. Also, this is like a speed tie. Okay. Hmm. 
But it's like, I don't have to worry about him, like, killing me, because if he can't heal, and we just keep blowing each other's special attacks, then we're kind of like Gucci. If you know what I mean. Like, I never have to worry about, you know, like, if he keeps doing, he can't do more damage than what he's already done. I don't really know how to describe this. I think I might just switch out. And go into like... And I forgot to heal this thing. I can't go into Shudo, I want to go into Sean. Cause Wulu... Wulu! Just a little more hang in there Wulu. Struggle book, go ahead. You're literally doing one to me. You struggle bug. Just keep learning my special attack, do it. Chudo leveled up. I literally just did all that. Let me actually heal. Because if I have all these potions, there's no reason for me not to. Well, let me just beat up this lady. Cute and strong together in combination. Mm, you're so cute. I bet that's what she's thinking. Choodle. I got this. I'm going to switch straight to my boy Grookey. Let me go into George. Go George. Let me go for that branch poke. Man, that's a dead chew. Blood bug is gone. Are we cute nothing more? It looks like our thing has a ways to go. Yes, you do. Oh, that's just another one of those things. Who stands straight out of somebody straight outside somebody's house like that? I can't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. I'm not so sure about that. You were challenged by youngster Benjamin. Also, it's another blip bug versus blip bug. Except I'm like three levels higher. Fifty percent first hit, not bad. Man, yeah, this thing is going to be easier than I thought it was. Struggle bug! Dead. That's a dead blood bug. Hopefully, oh I'm not going to level up. Brendan and Nick get level up. Nick it. Oh, he's about to send out his own. Good thing I'm a bug type against you, Darky. Even if you don't use special moves. I like quick attack, so you're always gonna have speed. Man, that did a lot less than I expected. Like, I know I'm an early stage bug Pokemon, but you would just expect. Tail whip. Keep going for quick attack. Oh, was that a crit? 
Yeah, it was. But I would have killed and lived no matter what these next few turns. So you gain XP? Nothing's gonna level up. You defeat a youngster Benjamin. Lose to wild Pokemon, lose to many trainers. Well, that's what happens when you suck. Ha, 420. I wonder what all that's over here for. Purloin? I don't care about Purloin. It's cool you're in the game, but I'm trying to use like Pokemon, like these brand new Pokemon that I've never even heard of before. Like literally, like five Pokemon today I've never even heard of. And that's awesome for me. It's like between X and Y and like, so many other things where it was just like brand like everything just got leaked and even they them like with sun and moon they had like a new trailer every week and you got to see something new for no real reason sean grew to level eight learn copycat not bad I want to go talk to my boys. Look, there's the professor. So have you unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh, goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I hope that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Dear me, I'm sorry. I didn't even notice my guest. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. No. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. Wait, hop here. I see Wulu has made some new friends. And you must be Jesse. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonya. I'm sure you'll have it completed in no time. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right Jesse? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. It takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamax into the fullest. There you go, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are things that are worth knowing about, too, you know. Like how many types of tea there are. <laughs> hey, Professor, do us a favor, would you? Help me convince Lee he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Leon, why won't why wouldn't you endorse them? Hub and Jesse only just started as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Theory, I thought your dream was to have everyone in the Galar region become strong trainers, isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That goes precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. Right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me there's a real battle that I'm left with no choice but to endure you. See, no worries, I'll make sure both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Go! Right, I'll be waiting outside, Jesse. No problem. Why does everybody's house like look the same on the inside? Hurry up, Jesse. You've got to bow me so I can get myself that endorsement. I'm literally went as fast as I could. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. So you did I need the endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come on with everything you got so we can prove to Lee we've got what it takes. I'm gonna 6 0 you right here. I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young bat trainers battle too. Listen to you, the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learned from every battle I see you or take part in. That's how I've got to see where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. Oof, you're a channel by Pokemon Trainer Hop. So he has three Pokemon. He's gonna lead off with Wulu. I'm fine with that. I'm just gonna get my boy Blipbug. Yeah, a bit stronger. Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Struggle Bug. Tackle.
Man, this thing's just like getting destroyed by a stupid bug. Supposed to be a big sheep, and you've only done 50%. Well, I'm about to kill you. I hope. But that's a dead wolf. Bloodbug, George, and Nicket leveled up. So not bad. It's about Rockady. Is that the bird? If it is, I'm gonna go Yamper. I can't remember what that thing is. I think it's the bird, at least. Yeah, that's the bird. Go for that pack. No. Two HP critical hit. Look at you, it seems you've really learned your type matchups. Yeah, I'm not an idiot. I was about to say, where's the paralysis? Because now I outspeed. And you're dead. Everybody send out Sobble. So I'm just gonna go easy, George. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. How is this close? I'm strong against you. I'm kinda over leveled here. Like, not even on purpose, that was just me grinding. Ooh, that was close. Have a taste of our tree powder. This wave is gonna ca crash right over you. Water. You you used water again, man. Like that's not exactly super powerful. It's super effective. Trudel leveled up. Everything looks like about to level up. You defeated Penguin Trainer Hop. Oof, got it that I lost, but I expect nothing less from my rival. $640. I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. Thing defeat and the joy of victory. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? Jesse, well after seeing a match like that one, so I've got little choice but to give to endorse you both. Letter of endorsement. Letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm gonna win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still, and plenty of wrath around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell in our body. Hop. You've always tended to get caught up in things like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense. But it seems you've grown a little bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more throwing Pokemon battles out of you too, Jesse. Alright, Jesse. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more Pokemon will grow. Huh? What's that? What is that? Just look at that. They're wishing stars. Since there's two of them, you should take one yourself. What the crap? Stone from a glory region with serious power. It says that your dreams come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive, yes! Trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their heart, you know. I'll be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever! Though I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those fishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. They're one of the most precious resources we have in, here in the Glar region. 
They won't do a thing for you and that's it. Give them to me now and I'll have you sorted. Alright, you've done heaps of research on the Dynamax phenomenon, having a professor. Then please give Jesse and me the power to Dynamax our Pokemon. First we got to battle against that mad Pokemon in the slumming world, and now this really feels like we're caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man, but don't get carried. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey? It's like I came home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot, why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Anyway, guys, this is going to end off this episode. I think this is three or four. Yes, this is episode three. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. After this. It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning to you, young challengers. Hop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you don't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Yeah, well, there was weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Jesse tried to fight it, fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty hazy. A right find of information you are. Just hop, these are for you. These are Dynamax Crystals? You got a Dynamax Man from Professor Magnolia and slipped it onto your wrist. A wishing star has been affixed to it. It lets out a light that allows Pokemon to Dynamax when at a power spot. Those are your Dynamax Bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax for Pokemon like he does. However, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find that it's not so simple at all. There are a number of connections you must meet if you wish to have your Pokemon Dynamax to take on that guy gigantic form. And don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help you fill out your Pokedex, too. The legend of my reign is finally about to begin. Man, I'm like dead tired all of a sudden. Come on, Jesse, I'll beat you to the station. Yeah, so like I said... This is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.